Hi, I'm William Osman, and today we'll be uh, doing something thanks to a suggestion from user Restroom Sounds, who asks, Please sculpt a bust of Vin Diesel using laser-cut cross-sections of laser-sliced ham. Now, due to a slight miscommunication with cameraman John, who actually modeled the bust of Vin Diesel, we'll be laser-cutting a busty bust of Vin Diesel. <laughs> um, and thanks to Allie for the, for the shirt, and the awesome letter. This is like the nicest thing anybody's ever sent to me. She doesn't want her last name out there. I don't know, have you done illegal things or something, Allie? But I'll keep your last name a secret. Where are the baskets? We need like the, the cheapest, cheapest, dirtiest meat we can get our hands on. <laughs> this is like 0, 090. We're gonna use this free software from Autodesk called Slicer for Fusion 360. Now we're not sponsored. Um, I'm not sure if that's obvious because I don't think anyone in their right mind would have sponsored this video. But it will slice your models for you for laser cuttings. Um, and this video probably wouldn't be feasible without this. If we don't put the material thickness properly, the model when we cut all the pieces gets skewed, so like stretched up or stretched down. Four, two, I actually haven't used this. John is the one who's used this software. Letter, what do I do? Yeah, select the material. And then is it going? Oh, what's the red? The height of the model, this is so cool. Is this gonna update? Wow. Look at that, and then it gives you all the slices. We need 40 sheets of ham to cut this part. See, if we had a giant sheet of ham, this would be a lot easier. But I don't know where you buy giant sheets of ham. But I don't think we're gonna go every other with the cheese because it's just, a lot of work for something that you know you're gonna end up eating. Who's eating this? Chelsea, you want to eat this when we're done? Mm -mm. Is that uh-huh or uh-uh? Mm -mm. It sounds like an uh-huh to me. Right now, what we're gonna do is cut out a little like uh, index thing, a little jig for the ham slices. It's like one of those fancy restaurants where they bring you out a plate of meats and cheeses. Wow, this is a really slow computer. It smells like smoked ham. No, it smells like burnt ham. Next layer. Uh, there's gonna be little slivers of ham everywhere. <laughs> Whoever suggested this, what was it, bathroom sounds? <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> my hands are so gross. I don't wanna touch the keyboard with my ham hands. Sorry, computer, I think you're just gonna have to take one for the team. My finger worked through this? <laughs> no. This is not a nice feeling. Sticking my hand in a bag of meat. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. It's got the hot dog taste. This is like the world's like grossest protein puzzle. We're a little less than halfway done. The pile is starting to get pretty big and the bowl is starting to get pretty full. We're just gonna cut the rest and you'll see that right now. I'm not gonna show you any more of this ham slicing. This is hams down the grossest thing we have ever done. So let's let's toast some bread. We gotta cut the cheese too. Do just like a couple slices of cheese. We don't have a lot of cheese and I don't wanna slice that big block. I'm not sure why we bought that. Let's put like four pieces of cheese. Oh, it's unplugged. What is it? People have been asking if the laser can cut cheese and I'm like 90% sure the laser can cut cheese. Oh, how big was that piece? Oh. As is tradition, we must taste the food after it's been laser cut. It was burnt. Oops, uh, cameraman John's insisting we put mayonnaise on the sandwich. <laughs> Let's just put mayo under the ham. Where's the number one piece? I'm gonna have to dig through the pile of ham. Uh, <laughs> the sound it makes. I should probably wash my hands. Yeah. Oh my God, John. Do we have to put mayonnaise? Which side? Oh. Oh, slippery. I was able to convince cameraman John that we shouldn't put mayonnaise between every layer. I don't know why he likes mayonnaise so much. Well, I just want to take fistfuls of this meat pile and put it in my mouth hole. Where's eight? Why am I wearing glasses? <laughs> That's gross. Ah! Ah! <laughs> a little bit of floor ham never hurt anybody. Where's 14? I'm gonna dig through the meat pile again. 21. Where's 14? What did I do? We got 17, I, would it be, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we skipped a layer, would it? We're skipping 14, going straight to 15. So now we're at the second piece of cheese. The cheese is definitely a little bit small. Oh, that's the one that's missing the corner. Yeah. I feel like a little kid learning to count. 53. 
Like every number I count up to, I get like a little piece of ham as a reward. 54, but I'm a weird kid, so instead of eating it, I built a statue of Vin Diesel. Well, I guess cameraman John modeled it. I'm taking away too much credit for this. Um, Vin Diesel ever sees this. I'm sorry. I haven't really seen what he looks like from the front. Oh my god! <laughs> Nightmare. Don't do drugs! <laughs> this is unholy. That's his mom. Hey, what's up? We're, we we just we're laser cutting a bust of Vin Diesel out of ham. You guys are. <laughs> that's very funny. Oh uh, yeah, that is a gross feeling. <laughs> there it is. The Vin Diesel ham and cheese sandwich. This would be like ten to thirteen dollars at a nice restaurant. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Are you happy now? Bathroom, was it bathroom sounds or bathroom noises? This is one of the worst things I have ever done, like, in my life. Why? <laughs> what, like, are we gonna send this to someone? Does somebody want this? How do you ship this without it falling apart? We could freeze it. You freeze it and then, like... <laughs> uh, that's the end of the video, folks! I feel gross. There's a giant bowl of gross burnt sandwich meat that is kind of wasted. Um, the Autodesk slicing software did a really good job. It was kind of wasteful though with the way it nested the parts. I think we could have used significantly less pieces of sandwich meat um, with better nesting. That's, I don't know why I'm talking about that. It's unnecessary. I mean, it's just one complaint, but who cares? Now, uh, if you have an insane project idea, um, there's no, there's no bounds. There's, I mean, there are some physical bounds, but like, this was stupid. And if you've got a stupid idea, you should leave it in the comments. Because I'll do it. Don't test me. See you next time.